Oh, oh, boy, TV. They scared, but I'm not. They don't like comentario. Y suscribe. Charles Barkley, I didn't expect him to go in on his bosses, but Jesus. Production company. And uh, I won't. Well, I've talked to the guys about everybody signing with my production company because I have my own production company. And uh, I want to. I, I would love to do that if if we lose it. But I have definitely had, actually somebody suggested that to me, to be honest with you, on the internet. So why don't Charles Barkley sign these three guys, four guys total, this his production company and sell it? I'm like, that's a great idea. Yeah. But like I say, you know, we're just sitting back waiting on these people to figure out what they're going to do. You know, you know, my two favorite wines are Ingle Nook and Opus. And these clowns I work for, they've turned us into Ripple and Boons Farm and Thunderbird. <laughs> like, we got the best studio show. We won. We just, and it's so funny, we just won the best studio show, but these fools turn us from Ingle Nook and Opus into damn Boons Farm and Ripple. It's crazy. Well, I've talked. So that's that's Charles Barkley going on a Dan Patrick show. Dan Patrick's the ESPN OG. Um, Big shout out to DP. He's always on that show, and he's always pretty good. But Barkley yeah, but he, is at his best. Has regulars. Barkley, Barkley's at his best on Inside the NBA. That's just like him and it's like Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg, Eric B and Rock. Him, who's in his era, Drake and Forty, or whoever else. <laughs> the, the comp Metro and Future. That's Inside the NBA and Barkley. Like to me, they're married, and that's the best sound that they can make to is together. We can't see Inside the NBA without Charles Barkley. It's the best. The best things in sliced bread on the sports shows. For me, Flea, the canceling of the show is big time. And then the way that he's going about maybe even reviving the show or keeping the show alive. And then just to, to call out your boss like that, I love it. This is this is why Charles Barkley is my first favorite basketball player ever. This is the reason why. He's unafraid, going back to Mark Cuban and Kyrie Irving. These are unafraid. They're unafraid to speak on things. And regardless if they're dead wrong or not, they can, they're can. they very expressive. He's obviously, Barkley's always of the ilk of uh, Muhammad Ali to me. He always sounds like a fake Muhammad Ali, but just, you know, he copied him. That's clearly his idol. And just talking about topics like this, like to call out David Zaslaw, who's at, he was at the Knicks games. He was, a year ago, he said, we don't really care about basketball when it comes to Warner Brothers and, and these TV rights. And it shows you what they may have um, prioritized. And for the most part, it seems like they they signed for college football as well. And Barkley talked about that. He's just surprised about it. I, I just don't... Could have used, never... used that money towards basketball. Could have used the money... Cause they, I think they signed a five-year deal with college football. Uh, why is that money not going to be in, invested in? TNT does the best with basketball. They do better than ESPN. They do better than ABC. Their coverage of the NBA is ten times better than Disney. It just is. So, I mean. I know this is above our pay grade. Let me start there. These decisions are above our pay grade. They're above Chuck's pay grade, too. Let's be honest about that. They, it's above everybody's pay grade. Um, everybody is getting into the streaming thing. You know what I'm saying? That is how people, a lot of people, view their content now and their TV. Their TV is through streaming. And so, from my understanding... Disney, ABC, ESPN, that conglomerate has more opportunities for streaming. And so when Amazon comes in and when, you know, all of these other players that weren't players and, you know, competitors for the NBA rights come into play, it makes it hard for Turner and Warner and all of them, all of them guys that never really had the competition, the competition was NBC. NBC didn't even want it. They didn't even want it no more. Ah. But now all of a sudden they do, right? Basketball 
has not usurped football. So, no, I'm not going to lie to you guys and say that it's the most popular sport. But it's second. It's right there in terms of the United States. It's second. So, I would hate to see that show leave. Uh, I'm 37. I've been watching that show since I've been watching basketball, right? Um, been watching Ernie on TNT since I can remember. Obviously, they started that show and, you know, been watching those guys. Uh, they add they add, uh, they add, add Shaq about 13 years ago. And now, you know, it's just, it's beautiful chemistry. It's, uh, it, it's great entertainment. Um, it's solid basketball coverage, right? You, you know, you, it's not mind the game. It's not JJ and Braun, but Kenny Smith can break down, can break down the game. Charles Barkley, if you can move all that stuff that y'all don't like about him out the way and listen to what he's be saying, he knows what he's talking about when, when it comes to this basketball stuff. And I'm, I'm not going to act like Shaq has got better. Shaq has got better. Shaq has challenged himself to be up there. If I'm going to be up here with y'all, I got to challenge myself to be able to talk this and not be a big goof all the time. He has fun, bro. They're going to have fun regardless. But when they go to Shaq now and he's kicking that stuff, I'm like, all right, Diesel. All right. I hear you. I hear you, big dog. Right. So and then Ernie is just the best host, moderator. Uh, I would even call him a leader of men because he leads that show. Right. Like he's the best in the business. What was show was. I can't name somebody in any TV, any sports show that's as good as Ernie. Yeah, find him for me. I don't. I don't have. I have nobody. Even uh, what's the guy from Channel Five? The um, Fox Fox Five. Oh, James Brown. Uh, James, James Brown. He's good. Um, not not Ernie. I can't think of anyone. Ernie's amazing. Mm-hmm. Ernie's amazing. I used to think, I mean, when somebody I forgot who's not making a big deal of. It. I think when, when he got sick, you know, God bless him. Yeah, I remember. Um, a lot of us were like, nah, there was so many people like, no, or, like the love for Ernie was, I'm like, what y'all talking about? And then I thought about it like, nah, he is really good at his job. Yeah. We thought, that- we thought Ernie was going to pass because the, because here's the, here's, here's how wild stuff is. And this, you know, it's not morbid, but it's cool. The lump was visible and it was growing as on TV, like literally growing as the show was progressing. And it was almost like he was forcing us to ignore it, but it was there and we knew something was wrong. So when he did come out, you know, that time and expressed that he was battling with something and had, you know, had to go through some things and all of that. And, um, and then comes out on the other side, beats it and, you know, still smooth, still, you know, grew his head back, got the goatee back. Now he's a spokesperson for bow ties, right? Like, he completely upped it after that. And I just, man, it's, it will hurt genuinely as a, as a basketball fan and, and as a guy that loves those guys, it will hurt to see that show, you know, be, you know, canceled. Um, I, I don't think you are on Andrea Dion Boone Adams. Appreciate your mind. <laughs> Mama Fleet. Mama Fleet. Change your name to that, please. We need to yeah. get your government off, off the off the internet, Ma. You can hear me. Let's let's we gotta oh, change. Loves Barkley. Please don't tell people you used to call me a little Charles Barkley. We don't want to hear that right now. <laughs> I love you, Ma. Turbo, what's good, Turbo? Turbo. I think uh yeah, yeah. I think even the Barkley suggestion that they can buy it out and then license it, I guess, to NBC or whatever it is. For me, is it's of course inside the NBA has its own music, but they hear it's called round round ball robin, whatever that's called. Round. I mean, that's what we grew up on, though. It would be insane. I think. <laughs> Come on, you know it, y'all know it. Stop acting crazy. <laughs> I think it would be insane if you heard that 
a, like a, a, a slightly better version of what Flea just did on TV with inside the NBA. That would Fox be to me. The, Fox took the song and they were playing it during college basketball, and it was bothering me. I was watching <laughs> St. John's in Creighton one morning, and I was like, "What the hell is this? Why do they have this song? Turn this off, bro." If they bring back, yes, hearing that old school NBA music with the new players will be nuts. With be inside insane. the NBA, Come if you on. put it on with inside the NBA and Barkley's on there, I might like my because the song used to play when Barkley was. Because you got to understand, if you if you from that era, bring let's bring it back. If you're from that era, you know Sunday, Channel Four, Knicks play the first game. Whoever it is. Knicks Bulls, Knicks Pacers, Knicks Heat, whatever. Knicks got the early game. Then the second game is a West Coast game. So whether that's San Antonio, Seattle, Denver, Houston, Phoenix, Portland. So it will be dope to see now Charles not be a player. Because when that music was going, Charles was a player. Now that now that music is rocking and he's the host, I don't know. That would be kind of dope. I don't know. No, no, that would be amazing. That would be crazy. I like this. It's from, from front office sports. You know, me and Flea like to get in our nerd bag. What we got? Um, no, nothing crazy. Just this uh, paragraph I was reading about when in the NBA left NBC, and it was during a time back then in 2002. In 2002 was when uh, NBC lost the rights, mm -hmm. and back then uh, NBC was the incumbent of the verge on the verge of losing its rights while TNT was sitting pretty. Cable networks and TNT and ESPN were the challenger brands, swiping rights from broadcast networks thanks to their dual revenue streams from advertising and subscriber fees. Now giants of streamers like Prime, Apple, and Netflix are the disruptors, with yep, the cable so bundles crumbling. Around TNT and ESPN, legacy broadcasters like NBC are back in vogue. And NBC, if I'm not mistaken, is uh, is is it is it Comcast still? They're part of the cable. Yeah, Com and Comcast is a public company. So the fact that they are like back in the mix with that much, it's all about Wall Street at the end of the day. And that's what David Zaslav, the boss of Warner, made a mistake last season. That's what Charles Barkley is referencing. It was during like a con uh, um, not a conference call. I forgot what the uh, the, the quarterly calls that the public companies make, they have to make. And Zaslov, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was a quarterly call. Zaslov says, we don't need the NBA. So for him to say that, it's like, what? You're on the verge of a streaming war with everything. And live TV rights, which I always said about Netflix. Yeah, earnings call. Thank you, LB. Uh, earnings call. Li uh, live TV rights, in my opinion, was where Netflix always messed up at. Bro, I don't care what you have for streaming. You need to get something live. Go yeah. to I thought, soccer. I thought they dropped it. The, they dropped the ball with that because all of these Hulu has live. Uh, uh, I think Prime has live. Amazon Prime has live now. Like all of the the major players in this streaming thing have live. Um, you know, have live viewing. You know, cable, TV, whatever. You know, Netflix doesn't. So now I think that you know they're gonna try to they're, catch up. They got to. Everything yeah. is the, the Tom Brady roast was live. Cat Williams thing was live. They have a lot yep. of comedian things live. So they're on their yep. way. They're late to the party and they have a lot. They're willing to take on loans to lend and, and to, they're willing to take on a lot of, how can I say, use a lot of cash to pay for this stuff. Um, can, can you speak to this? And if somebody in the comments can help me too. Um, I'm curious to understand why it took 22 years for nbc and everybody like why did it take so long for the light bulb to click that maybe we need to get back in the game with the nba nbc lost M the nba because they didn't they weren't looking ahead with bat with the internet they didn't really see that they don't have you ain't got anybody there that knows about this you should have hired somebody for this because this was going to a different direction so going back full circle 20 22 years later now Amazon Prime, like you just mentioned, Hulu, Netflix. This is the new uh, cable. Oh, oh, boy, TV. They scared, but I'm not. They don't like commentario. Y suscribe.